Welcome to Electron Online. Here again in this example, we're going to need a sum of both ramp functions and unit step functions to represent this kind of input. Let's first take care of the first two seconds. Notice that the slope remains the same all the way through, and we start at a magnitude or an amplitude of two. Hmm, how do we do that? Well, first we need to get up to an amplitude of two. For that, we need to use a unit step function. So the first thing we we'll want to do is get up to an amplitude of 2. So f of 2 is equal to 2 times the unit step function starting at 2 because there's no offset. This gives us an input of 2, an amplitude of 2, all the way through forever. Now we need to add to that that negative slope. That's a ramp, a negative ramp. Notice that the slope is 2 to 1. We have a drop of 2 to 1, so this becomes minus 2 times the ramp function, again, no offset. That continues on for 2 seconds. Now we need to negate the ramp. So now we need to pull it even. So we need to add a positive ramp to negate the negative ramp. So that would be plus 2 times the ramp function, but this one is offset by 2 seconds, so it would be t minus 2. But now we're down here, and we need to be up here. That's an increase of a total of 4 in amplitude. So we need to add a step function with an amplitude of 4, starting at time equals 2 seconds. So that would be plus 4 times the unit step function offset by 2. And finally, we need to get back down to 0 after 3 seconds. So now we have to add a negative step function. So minus 2 u offset at minus 3. And that will represent our input. Notice we first need to get up to an amplitude of 2. Then we have the negative ramp function. The slope is 2 to 1. Then we need to negate the negative ramp. So we need a positive slope of 2, but offset by 2 seconds. Now we need to have a jump of 4 in the amplitude, offset by 2 seconds. And then we need to have a drop of 2 with this last unit step function. And that's how we can very easily and cleverly represent an input that looks like this via a function that looks like that, simply a sum of unit step functions and ramp functions. And that's how it's done.